Hey Megan, hey Chad. I made the executive decision to make a video of this house because it's surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. So this is the dining room, which is probably useless for you, but it's big and you could get a lot of desks in here. Think in a great homeschool room, not bad. And then here's when you walk in, kind of no wasted space in the house, which is nice. Sorry, I didn't turn on all the kitchen lights because I couldn't find them all. Let's see, there we go. Um, but the kitchen's big. I mean, I'm so, I'm so surprised. A lot of ca uh, counter space. And there's even going in here, like some more counter space and cabinets and a large pantry, which I don't know where the light is. And then it's dark, I'm sorry, that was a useless shot. And this area is pretty big. Um, I'm not gonna show you the backyard because it's really dark, but it's private, even though it backs up to somebody else. Uh, there's a huge privacy fence and you would need fencing on the side um, if you wanted it, but it's not small. Here's the HVAC, super exciting. Here is one bathroom. You know, if you bought here an upgrade you could do is put in two sinks you would get your money back on that for sure. But that's a nice, you know, tile surround tub. Um, I can't figure out what this flooring is. Don't mind my toes. I think it's LVP, luxury vinyl plank. It looks nice. So you can definitely fit two twin beds in here easily. It's like a long, narrow room, which kind of works. The ceilings are tall, so you could probably put in another shelving unit so each kid could have their own area a linen closet which is great because we're always short closets in florida this is the smallest bedroom so i'm guessing this would be for your two littles um it's cute tall ceilings like i said um the closets are tall which maybe doesn't help little people but and then maybe the two oldest could share in here and they get their own bathroom and a walk-in closet. And the bedroom is a really good size. So I'm liking the house a lot more than I thought I would. I have called the listing agent. Um, they didn't answer nor call me back. Um, I was just trying to figure out they had multiple offers. Um, don't know anything. But, you know, like I said, the house is surprisingly bigger than I thought it was going to be. So these are like dark wood laminate floors. Gosh, where are all the lights in this joint? Here we go. Here we go. So, I mean, you can fit king size bed over here, dresser over here, something over here. And I know you soak in a tub all day because you're bored because you have nothing going on. I'm being a brat, I'm sorry, but that's a good size shower. Hi, don't mind me, I look homeless today. I have no idea what this is. Um, it's like a ladder for towels. I don't know, potty room. And then here's the closet and you know what? It ain't small. They even got a dresser in here. So you know what? I am so glad I went over here and I'm gonna go ahead and make the executive decision and start drafting up an offer for us to sign. I'm gonna call the agent again. Actually, I might text him um, and see what's going on, but it is not a bad house at all. If I could flip the camera on and talk to you, I would. Oh, and, and I don't know, you could probably get some homeschool stuff in there if you needed to. Um, like I said, the backyard, I, I can't really, get in it very well um but there's this patio area and you could get uh your money's worth of if you screened it in um and then there's all this backyard like let me walk to the end one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty it's probably 26 feet back and so you can kind of see i don't know if you can see but it's not a tiny yard. So anyway, we'd be neighbors. I know that's a dream come true for you. Um, I would love to have you be my neighbor. I think it'd be fun. Um, that's a gas stub. 
for a grill. Anyway, I'm going to send this to you. All right, bye.